What's up guys? You are in our front yard veggie garden and I've had a request for this video so stay tuned to see all of what we are growing in our front yard. Okay, so let's just start right over here. This is right by the house. We have got sage growing. We have fennel. We have some holy bok choy. <laughs> holy because the bugs have gotten into it. This box um, is particularly bug heavy. But we've got some curly kale. We have radishes in here. Those, whoa, that one's way too big. Anyways, there's radishes in there. We've got some oregano and some thyme. We've got little baby Swiss chards growing. This is a grapevine crawling up over this trellis here. Oh my, that is a big cucumber. Yep. Come on. Here, I'll, whoop. Ah, <laughs> you got it. We got it. Okay, so coming up under here, under the grapevine, we have some of our tomatoes growing in here. You can see they're hanging from the vine and they're green right now, but they will be delicious very soon. There's some more little tomatoes right over there. We have eggplant. These are really pretty. And those purple flowers will turn into eggplant soon enough. Way cool. Then up over this arch we have some beans. Careful. No, 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 no. Wait, we gotta wait till that's... Oh, we do have a little baby eggplant there. Cool. No, not yet, love. Not yet. It's not ready yet. We gotta wait till it's bigger. Oh. You want your beans back? Okay. So, on this side, we have got a gigantic cantaloupe vine, which I don't even know if these are going to ripen. Apparently, they don't ripen very well in our area, so this will be the true test. I've got more beans growing up this trellis here. These ones are purple beans. You can see the purple color in the vine. We've got more eggplant over here. Another one over here. They're kind of, they're really being covered by this crazy vine of melons. I'm really hoping those melons come through. There's another great uh, eggplant there. Over here we have cilantro. I'm loving cilantro. It's so fresh and good. The um, blackberry bush is kind of growing up through that trellis there. We've got more curly kale, which we love in our smoothies and everything like that. We make kale chips, all kinds of stuff. Got another bean sprout coming through. And let's see, more beans coming up this trellis. We've got a watermelon plant, which I don't think it's gonna do anything. I planted them before I realized it doesn't get hot enough here, but we'll see. We're just gonna let it grow if it will. And... This is not a garden. See. Nope, that's our watering system. 
the rock. Okay, so now <laughs> this big, huge um, bush over here, well, there are multiple bushes, there are tomato plants all on this side. So they're kind of just coming through this entire bed. It's just like, oh my gosh, it's insane how much they've overgrown. And I have tried to like keep these um, trimmed back, but they are pretty crazy. So that's that. We've got nasturtiums, which are delicious. You can eat these flowers and you can also eat the leaves. So good. See. see a big tomato coming through right there pretty big oh there's some red ones in there I'm just seeing those cool we'll have to pick those soon looking like some dead leaves back there too Hi. not yet babe not yet baby it's still green we gotta wait so now we have our gigantic um, pumpkin plant. We got this pumpkin plant for free from the farm supply store. She was so nice, she just gave us a pumpkin plant. I don't know why, but there's little baby pumpkins growing, so that's exciting. And that is climbing up this trellis. I've helped it a little bit, um, just kind of feeding it through, but it's doing really, really well. Yeah, that's a pumpkin up there. I want it. I'll take it. Well, not yet. We have to wait. Okay, so yeah, that's all the tomatoes in that. Then on this side, we have more tomatoes. And we have some bok choy that is getting, like, out of hand. It's crazy. More nasturtiums. All that good stuff. Then we have more bok choy over here. We have a blueberry bush, which it's very new, so it's not really producing much yet. We have more nasturtiums. We've got some red leaf lettuce. We have peppers coming in here, pretty cool. Got more kale, more nasturtiums. We've got these purple beauty bell peppers. I just picked it on You did? Yeah. We've got mint. There's another pepper plant right here. These are supposed to be a little bit spicy. We'll see. Oh, okay. We can eat most of it. There's just one little bad spot. You want to hold it? Okay. Okay. These are lunchbox orange uh, peppers. We'll see. <laughs> it's probably not very good, huh? We'll see what happens with those. Hopefully they turn orange soon. Let's see. What else do we have? We have some California poppies right here. And let's see, I just trimmed back this squash plant and it's got some really good squash on it. And we've been eating lots of squash lately. Got that tied up. Well, you probably shouldn't sit up there because it's not really a seat. Then we've got our cucumber plants. Tiny baby cucumbers, not ready yet. Look at this. What is that? A little baby cucumber. Don't pick it yet though. So more cucumber plants on that side. We've got a different type of cucumber plant growing up here. We've got more squash Ooh, plants. Whoa. whoa, giant cucumber. Let's pick it. Okay. Sure. Twist, 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 twist
Good job. Nice. She wants to put it in the free box. We've got our little community box that we put our extra fruits and veggies in that we don't quite get to. And people seem to be enjoying that. It's really cool. We've got squash plants here. These are zucchini. There's some bean plants, more bean plants. We've got some more lettuce there. We've got some chives. I really love growing herbs because they're expensive in the stores. So it's nice to grow them because you get a lot. There's another cucumber right there that's ready. So right over here, I actually have the pollinator strip and we've got some mammoth sunflowers right here coming up. I mean, they are huge, really big. We have some lavender, which is really pretty. We've got calendula. I think those are weeds that maybe need to come up. We have a lime tree there, a little baby lime tree. Oh, I picked it. Calendulas. You picked it. That's not ripe yet. We have, I think this one is a hollyhock, which is super cool. I'm excited for that one. Let's see. Oh, yes. Can't forget about the milkweed. The monarch butterflies around here love this stuff, so I planted it just for them. We've got more calendulas. Can this is, that? yeah. We've got a lemon tree there, which is very young as well. There's some more thyme in there. Underneath all the nasturtiums. Yes, baby. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. And let's see, we have our little vine of pink jasmine. We have three vines, so hopefully, eventually they'll cover this fence and it'll be like a fence of flowers. We've got rosemary here covered in nasturtiums and more calendula plants. So the, that's all of our pollinator plants and that's all along the side yard to bring in all of the good bees and butterflies. This bed right over here, it's kind of funny because we had well, we have this, which we put sunflower seeds in, black sunflower seeds for the birds. It, they're all gone out of there, but they dropped a ton of them. And now we have a box full of sunflowers that are growing. So that's pretty cool. And then here's some volunteer potatoes coming through too. Okay, so this is our side yard. We've got another little lime tree still a baby there's raspberries all along here i'm pretty sure there aren't any ripe raspberries because journey keeps them picked and eaten all the time and then this side oh my shadow we have mostly just succulents we do have a little thing of uh, lavender and nasturtiums coming along here. We have our mandarin orange tree. Really good. These are actually more like tangerines, but the juice is super delicious. I want to eat the oranges. I know, Boo Boo. We'll pick some in just a little bit. 
if there's any ripe ones. Okay, we have over here in this corner, we used to have a huge avocado tree that we cut down, but it didn't produce any avocados. So you can see the stump right there. But in its place, we planted a little baby Haas avocado tree. So that little guy will be producing someday, which we're excited about. The uh, cantaloupe vine, Again, another one. Oh, we'll see man. if it produces. Hopefully, it will. Look at that. This is Journey's citrus tree. I think it's a Valencia orange. And we got this for her. Oh, actually, let me see. Navel orange. The tag's still on there. But we got this tree when she was born. And we actually, with it, planted her placenta underneath. So it's Journey's special tree. Is that your tree, baby? Then we've got some more berry bushes over here. We have raspberries and blackberries. We have more cucumber vines all along here. There's a donut peach tree, which we ate all the peaches off of already this year. <laughs> so delicious, juicy and sweet. Here's a fig tree that our neighbor gifted to us for Christmas. And there's some figs on there, so I'm excited about that. So cool, it was so tiny this Christmas. Um, just only a few months ago. And here it is. And then we have our wall of beans, which are now producing. So that's pretty cool. And then we have some more raspberries. So thank you guys for joining um, my little garden tour. Oh, I almost forgot uh, that we have a couple more things. <laughs> we have one more tree. It's a tangelo tree. And then there's two more tomato bushes. So that concludes our garden tour. I'm really excited um, for all of our vegetables and our fruits and follow me on Instagram if you want to see updates on all of our garden stuff and I'll see you next time. Bye!